Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Warframe. Today we're going to go over my Vorban build. This is my Vorban, well Vorban Prime I should say. I think Vorban Prime looks really really cool. Regular Vorban kind of looks eh to me, but I really like Vorban Prime. Um, now, the thing about Vorban is, one, I never play him, and the way I have him built is for one very specific purpose, which is to hit his four, collect all the enemies, and then shoot them with a Tigress Prime. That's literally my entire build for Vorban. <laughs> so, I am going to want some input from you guys if anybody is like an avid Vorban player and does nothing but plays Vorban and knows how to do a fairly good build for him. Please let me know in the comments because I got nothing, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, the other reason that I didn't really go in and try and really find out how to play Vorban particularly well is that Scott has stated that he's going to be doing a Vorban rework. Essentially, Vorban is now the Warframe that Scott is looking at for a rework. So, sometime soon, trademark, Vorban is likely going to have a full rework. As such, I don't want to invest too much Forma and time trying to learn how to play him and former him up the way he is now if I'm going to have to redo all this as soon as they do a rework. So I'll be doing a different video when they actually do the rework. But for now, I'll show you what I've got so far. I'll go for his abilities first, as I always do. Warframe's well, being very laggy for me today, so apologies, apologies if you get any, like, steps and lags and stuff, it's very strange. It's passive, you deal 25% extra damage to incapacitated enemies. I mean, it's, again, one of those ones where it's strictly speaking good, but you'll never notice it's there, pretty much. Because, to the most part, if an enemy is incapacitated, you're gonna kill it, irrespective, for the most part. Um, his first ability is Tesla. It's a little lightning grenade you throw on the ground, it zaps the enemies over and over and over again. Pretty straightforward, really. Mine layer. Very similar to Tesla, um, except it has four different types. Um, you have a bounce mine, so you can throw it down, it'll throw an enemy up into the air, or an ally. You can actually use it to sort of bounce up yourself, which is kind of fun. Um, you have a trip laser, so you throw it down, it puts out like a big line, and enemies will just run and trip over it. It's probably the funniest out of all of them. He then has shred, which is just an explosive grenade, essentially. And he has concuss, which is... It's a concussion grenade. It's like a flashbang, essentially. Um, next, he has Bastille. Essentially, you create a big area around you where enemies are controlled. Um, the problem I have with this ability is it is only 12 enemies affected. Granted, you can increase that with power strength, but the problem is you can't... Like, even if you push everything into power strength, you don't get enough enemies affected that it's really worth it. And I feel like this could just have... Again, it's kind of pointless to me speculating on how good or bad his abilities are, because likely they're all going to change. Um, also, worth noting, he was fairly good back in the day. The The difference now is that the way, I guess, the, the ecosystem of Warframe has changed, so he feels old is probably the best way of describing it. Um, but there's just too many enemies, and it's not really worth building for the power strength just to get more enemies inside Bastille. I've hit 100% just so I could keep 12, but, you know. And then we have Vortex. You create a whirling mass of energy that violently, violently attracts enemy, nearby enemies, crushing their atoms into tiny specks of matter. Essentially, it's a big pull. It's very similar to Nidus's, um grab, where it grabs all the enemies around and pulls them into the center. Um, that allows you to do a lot of damage to a lot of enemies very quickly, um, which is really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Coughing. Um, but this is the main one that I use. I pull enemies in and then use a very powerful gun and or melee weapon to kill them all. Um, so if there's a better way to make use of all these other abilities that I don't use pretty much at all, um, let me know. <laughs> as I said, I'll take help on this as much as possible. But, this is the build we have. Essentially, it's a bunch of range, fair amount of duration, a bit of efficiency. That's pretty much what this build is. We have Arcane Aegis, Arcane Nullifier. Burst of Projection to get rid of some armor. Power Drift um, for ability strength. You'll notice this is actually rank 4. Just because I didn't want to put the other Dash Former in here, as I said, he's likely going to change. So I don't want to invest too much former just to get like one extra power on power drift. I'm not that worried. One extra rank on power drift really isn't that much. Um, you go from 12.5% ability strength to 15. 2.5% ability strength, probably not worth it in the grand scheme of things. But just know that we would be on 105% strength if we had this last former in here. But we have prime continuity with ability duration. So that gives us 50% ability duration. We have Prime vi uh, Umbral Vitality, I should say, and Umbral Intensify. This gives us uh, health and s power strength, respectively. The reason I've got this in here is, one, it gives us more health, because the Umbral mods stack like that, but two, and 
more importantly, this gives us to back up to 100% power strength. And the reason for that is... Bastille, essentially. I want the enemies affected to be at least 12. Um, the other ones, I don't care too much about the damage being nerfed, to be perfectly honest, because I use them more for control than I do killing things. I kill things with weapons, so... And then we have Stretch for ability range, Prime Flow for a bunch of uh, additional energy, Streamline for some efficiency, Overextended for a huge amount of range at the cost of some strength, as I see here, getting back this strength. And then we have Augur Reach for even more range. But that's pretty much the build, and it's built solely around his four. Um, arcanes there were irrelevant, you can have whatever you want. I'm going to have to reset this up. A Jackal and two Elite Crewmen. Um, the reason that I sometimes have to reset this, by the way, is that when I took the the background screenshot for my thumbnail, I went into Captura to do it, and the, the spawn enemies in Captura is the same as the spawn enemies in here, which is really annoying, because in Captura you're limited to only spawning three characters, so I can't just spawn my regular characters in the Captura mode. It, it's just annoying. I wish they would change it, to be perfectly honest. Um, we want two of you. Uh, yeah, two bombards, two of them, that. And then we want five butchers. Five crewmen. Five lances. That's what we usually do. Um, level 145 maybe out of my range for Vorban, to be perfectly honest. We'll see, I suppose. As I said, never use him. Could die. I didn't. It's fine. There we go. Did that bombard shoot a rocket outside my f my fall? Is that what happened just there? I'm intrigued. As you can see, you pull the enemies in, then you can shoot them with my Tagris. Or you can do a spin attack. And this this is just how I use Vorban, by the way. Just just this over and over again. There we go. Again, the crewman will survive last. I don't know how that happens. Uh, you'll also notice his four always pulls in items as well, which is good to know, I suppose. But that's pretty much how I use Vorban. Let me know what I'm doing wrong and what, why my build is shit, please, because I'm sure it is. Um, I'll show off his other abilities here. He holds it, do your one. You can hold it and it will do more damage. Um, it's just this thing and it'll shoot out little electricity pulses. His two. You can see on the bottom right, I can actually cycle through them. We have the trip laser. You push and hold to cycle through, by the way. So that's the trip laser. If they run over this, they'll fall over. We then have the shred. If they run near this, it explodes, does some damage. Pretty boring, really. Concuss. It's similar to the shred, except it will do like a control effect rather than doing damage. And then we have the bounce which is arguably the most interesting one. Woohoo! It just does that. It's just a little hop, that's all it does. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, so that's his two. His three is Bastille. He'll throw down a little thing. And anyone in this area, well, 12 enemies in this area will be lifted up and controlled. And that's all his abilities. And as you'll notice, I didn't use any of them except his four in that test. 
because I find his four to be really useful at gathering enemies. But all his other abilities are kind of meh, in all honesty. But that's four bad. Um, I will be doing another video when and if they do the rework on him. Um, Scott said he's working on it, but he's also said that he's at very early stages of working on it, so we could see this in a week, we could see this in a year. But when the, another Vorbane does come out, I'll do another video on him. Um, however, that's going to be it for this video. So if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time, which will be Vault. See you guys.